Hello everyone and welcome back to our blind let's play 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim for the PS5. My name is Flies Bird, this is your Serpent Scape Channel, and today it's the beginning and the end tutorial episode 3 wave 3 as we jump right in. Just want to say that I did lower the music and sound effects a bit more. The Sentinels are incredible weapons. If we could deploy them in the mainland war, they could instantly turn the tide. In order to hopefully allow the voices to have that more been over for decades, volume. Yomakun. You can stop worrying about it. We will never stop until our foes lie dead. I'm not about to forget my duty, Yokino. Where to next? Don't get ahead of yourself. We're not done here. Reinforcements. I see kaiju gathering from across the whole city. I'll release some more drones to expand our search range. Good. Leave the fisticuffs to me. What I'm worried about is the G molars in the back. You see them? G molar? Is that what you call the big round ones? No, G molar. As in, with the letter G? It stands for. That's one big. You know what? Never I do. Mind. A G molar is a dimos built for excavation. It uses the spinning blades on its back to dig into the ground. They need to bore a path to the terminal. It's the core of their strategy, and we need to stop them. A slow poke like that? All I need is one strike to take that one out. They can withstand intensely high pressures and break through any rock. If you underestimate it, you're the one who's going to get taken out. Is that where they're headed? Yes, that's the point closest from the surface to the terminal. But your Sentinel's a first gen, which means more mobility. That'll come in handy here. Can you take out some kaiju on your way there? I don't have much choice. We're going in. Clear a path. So we all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. Victory condition, dis destroy all kaiju. Lost condition, terminal destroyed. Uh, using powerful armaments will consume energy points. Uh, gradually replenished by defeating enemies, but you can recharge it faster by using defend. When you use defend, you'll be unable to move temporarily, make you switch strategically. Try using the armament leap attack, which consumes EP. Battle start. I'm acting like an amateur. So we're gonna leap attack. Ooh. So here. Yeah, this looks like a good thing to do. Wow, that's cool. I guess life comes at you fast. We can keep using this to get over there. As well as destroys, you know, the city as we go. Um, right. I want to get the big guy on the bottom. Okay, right there. Yeah, we're destroying everything in our side, aren't we? Probably not a good idea. Okay, now we need to probably take out this guy first. He's got less HP. Oh, nice shot. Okay, just in time to get this guy before he gets me. Nice. Try again. Now we'll be fully charged in order to hit this guy down here. Oh, they're not done yet. Oh my god, they're not done yet. More enemies. Is there no end to them? Looks like I made it in time. I'm going to activate Aegis before they overwhelm us. You're that guy from before. What are you scheming? I won't allow it. Wait, Hijiyama-kun. Let him handle this. Are you sure? He's about to do something to the saucer. It's all part of the plan. Besides, 
There's something I want us to try. Fine. I trust you. The terminal has a few defense mechanisms in place. Now that we've got access to them, you should be able to command them yourself. Oh. Let the terminal attack the kaiju directly. Well, that would help we out a lot. The saucer itself attack them? Let's give this one a shot. This phase plasma EMP. Meta skills. By gathering meta chips from defeat enemies, your meta gauge to the bottom left of the screen will increase. You can use meta skills where the meta gauge is filled up. Open the menu with triangle and use the meta skill plasma EMP. Unleashes EMP pulse. Hearts movement and drops aerial kaiju. Wow! What did nice! Do? The terminal forced a shutdown of designated targets within range. Only left two remaining. Amazing. Let's fire off some more of those. Exactly! Don't know if we can do that, but we have a couple other tricks up our sleeve. Let me take a look. Mine's a scene from uh, Iron Man 2 where the guy's like, why don't you just start with that move next time? The only meta skill you can currently use the battle is EMP, and you can only use it once. Uh, once tournament enhancers are available, you'll be able to unlock and enhance various skills. Let's see. Okay, I kind of want to... Wait until they're a little bit closer, maybe? Huh. Screw it. The best and defense is a good offense. The practice round's over. Okay, I can't hit that far. What next? So we're just gonna have to move up here. Number 12, moving out. Let's see. And now we can rush it back here. Here it comes! <sighs> well, I destroyed half the city, but you know we saved the world. Oh god, there's still more. It was like a nuclear if bomb we went had off. That kind of weaponry, you should have told me. Why bother with the sentinels when we have this? Yeah, I agree with Takatoshi. It takes time. Takatoshi. To and if we get taken out before it's ready, then it's all over. It means the terminal would be fully locked down. Nobody could ever open it again. Is that a bad thing? This is Renya Goto. You were one of the compatible pilots from Sector 5. Who are you communicating with? I'd really rather not deal with this. Don't tell him, Hijiyama-kun. No one. I'm fighting solo. Sentinel signals detected. Sentinels are being activated in another location. Number 17 and number 19. Just how many Sentinels are online now? So we made it through. Da, 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 da. <sighs> Natsuno Minami story is now available. Let's go. Uh huh. Story of Natsuno Minami. Secure High School New Building Hallway, 1985. Minami-san. Nachan. Okay, so this is Nachan, okay. We remember seeing her earlier. Check out over here, just see if there's anything else. Check out that bubble. What are you guys talking about so seriously over here? N nothing really. Just talking about what our dreams were last night. Oh, yeah? Anything interesting? Not especially. Just wondering about stuff. Like if dreams are influenced by the movies we see. Oh, yeah. That video you asked for the other day. I was just about to bring it to you. No way! Yes! This is it! 
Thanks a bunch. I was super bummed, you know. I couldn't record last week's UFO mysteries. That baseball game was going on for freaking ever. I think this may be my kind of girl right here. She's a, uh, she, she likes sports and also she likes the, uh, uh, the phantasmical. A special series airing on TV. All about the latest UFO discoveries. I'm so glad I got a recording of it. It was this really cool TV show that I used to watch. I don't know what it's called, but it was this like FBI, like former FBI guy and his team of like five other people. And what they would do is they would go around to places where like strange things happened. And they could try that. What they try to do is see if they could fabricate the videotape or the picture uh, to prove that it could be a hoax. But then they also try to see if there was anything mysterious you know, that may be unexplainable. And it was really cool how they kind of took a balanced view of going in, you know, with the skeptic's point of view, but as well as a uh, uh, believer's point of view. Um, and I like the show. I, I don't remember what it's called, uh, but it was fun. I haven't watched the video you lent me yesterday yet. Come on, you gotta watch EXT. It's a classic. I saw it in the theater three times at least. You can't talk about aliens without seeing that movie. I gotta love the name of that movie. I don't really intend <laughs> on talking about aliens anyway. Thanks for recording this. No problem. EXT. <laughs> An alien stranded on Earth establishes a bond with a young boy in this sci fi movie. It's a real 1982 classic. Yeah, it has nothing to do with another movie that may be called E.T. <laughs> I love it. I really, really like it. By the way, let me know how this sound sounds to you guys in the comments below, please. Uh, do I need to turn up the music or is it just right? Bet you're thinking, here she goes about those UFOs again. <laughs> no, not at all. You'd be the same if you watched this. They're already here on Earth, you know. Yeah, they look like octopuses and want to destroy us all, right? <laughs> no, no, no. You've got it all wrong. How'd you get octopuses? That's from a book. You're thinking of the War of the Worlds. Oh, okay. I got you. <laughs> oh, not John. There's no stopping you once you get going on this stuff. Just watch. One of these days, I'll work for NASA. And I'm gonna find a real alien. <laughs> You're gonna have to get better grades in science then. Wow. Oh man, you're right. She is right though. I, I love how we can say War of the Wolves, but we can't say ED. I'll get this back to you soon. Take your time. See you guys. Bye. See you later. Fuyasaka san, hmm. we have to go to the audio visual room. <laughs> oh, that's so right. stoked. Everyone's already there. Gonna pop in I my headphones, turn off all the lights. Yuki-chan. Yuki? She, she, she does look like um, a certain character from Persona, I will say. Huh. You still haven't gotten your new uniform yet? Oh. Yeah, who the hell knows? <laughs> but never mind that. What are you smiling about? Just reminds me of Ray. Something good on that video tape? Um, Sailor Moon. Oh, this? <laughs> Although I don't know if uh, Yuki's a fighter or not. She just, she just has that air about her. Come on, tell me. Nope. Nope. You're gonna laugh at me. <laughs> I like that, Chan. Come on. Nope, you're gonna... A classic sci-fi novel by that one famous writer. It features Martians that look like octopuses. They have three-legged weapons called tripods and use them to invade the Earth. I will say that the new version of the World Worlds, in my opinion, was not very good. The one with Dakota Fanning, I think it was. She's like screaming the entire way through the movie and it's slowly just not a good movie in my opinion 
Uh, I, the original War of the Worlds, though, was really, really good. And of course, you know, the story is fantastic. Okay, okay. It's a recording of a TV show on UFOs. A friend let me borrow it. <laughs> that explains it. Glad to see Dr. Space is still alive and well. I'm weird, aren't I? Of course not. It makes me happy, actually. To know you're still my notch on. Aww. <laughs> but maybe don't call me Dr. Space anymore. Aww, I like that Without nickname. Or kid nicknames, don't you think? No, no, I don't think you can ever have called kid <laughs> Whatever nicknames. Whatever you say. Well, if it isn't Takamiya. Uh, it's oh, him. Gata. So that Kuri gang you beat up. They're hanging around our school now. She what beat up. Do about it? Yep, yep, like I said. <laughs> what are you, my mom? She reminds me of Ray. Huh? I'm no damsel in distress. <laughs> I can take care of my own shit. You go. So beat it, pinhead. Exactly, what you did go. did you say to me? Intervene? I, she's got this. She's got this. I think it's gonna make me do it, though. Isn't this the guy that, uh, Hajima, like, pounded into the dirt? Okay, chill out, Ogata-kun. You don't need to start a fight in the middle of the hallway. I didn't start anything. She's the one walking around here like she owns the place. Come on, you too, Yuki-chan. <laughs> Fine. Sorry, Nachan. <laughs> what the? Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> We're in the middle of a school. I mean, you can't just fight in the middle of the hallways. Yuki-chan. Well, I mean, he can. It's just not a good idea. <laughs> Don't worry. That stuff happens all the time to me. Oh, by the way, can I come watch you practice again today? Sure. There's the bell. Better get back to class. See you soon. So is Nachan gonna be like, uh, AoE? Um, ex, uh... The the uh, the perfect gymna uh, swim swimmer can't speak. The perfect swimmer, or is she gonna be a gymnastics expert? Because based on what she was wearing earlier, it definitely looked like she was either a swimmer or a gymnast. We're in a classroom. Okay, either one will work. Let's go to the back one. Ah, uh, head back. Sure. Can't think of anything else to do. I've already checked both sides. After school, secure a high school athletics building. Oh, volleyball. She could be playing volleyball, too. Or track and field. You know, there's a lot of sports she could be playing. Fast as ever, not to know. Track. <laughs> Get a better time today? Oh. Well, it was kind of windy today. Running against it and all. You know how it is. Track and field. Totally wrong. Hey, first year. Track team captain. We'll talk on this side. What's up, Senpai? Me and the manager have to go and talk to the teacher. There's things to discuss about the next meet. Sorry, but could you handle the cleanup today? Okay. Sucks to be in the first year. Huh? Where did everybody go? Am I the only one still here? Oh no, I'm the cat. Hmm? Oh, hello. Another suspicious looking man. I saw a couple of them in the schoolyard too. I wonder what they're doing here. Seems like they're looking for something. Hmm. Men dressed in black suits. Wait a minute. Man black suit. Here come the men in black. Could they really be men in black? <laughs> An organization that monitors alien activity. I was just joking. Maybe. There's a UFO that's landed near here. A lone alien left behind by a UFO. Being pursued by relentless men in black. 
Its only hope is to be rescued by one chosen Earthling. Man, what a story that would be. I love this girl. She's got a great imagination. Oh. Sheesh, watch where you're going. Haven't seen that uniform before. Wonder what school he goes to. Clean up. <sighs> I'd better hurry and get on with the cleanup. Don't want Senpai to get mad. Okay, let's do this. Goals check and field round. <sighs> Finally done. My locker. Just searching around. Uh, I'm too tired to change. Maybe I'll just go home in my gym clothes. Uh, I am pretty sweaty. She put on that jacket fast. Uh, hello, Mr. Alien? Something's in there. It is an alien! Uh, wait, what if... It's E.T. What's going on? Uh, there a pervert in here? Yeah, you. What are you doing busting into a... Wait, is this a woman's locker room? Or is this just an athletic room? Anyway, get out! Still totally dressed. Why, you pervert? Hey, what the heck? What are you doing barging into the girls' locker room? Uh, it is the girls' locker room. Get out! I heard you scream. I was just coming to help. Oh, he has a point. Plus, all those creeps in black suits? Been seeing them everywhere. These guys have so, some bad after all. Thought... You're the only creep around here, you moron. Get out of here already. Damn. Try to do something nice around here. Well, you did say that you were trying to look at us when we didn't have our clothes on. So, I mean, that instantly makes all your credibility go right out the window. Um, hey there. Hi there, little buddy. <laughs> this is wild. Unidentified object. B.K. No way. It talks. Aw, it disappeared. Oh, it's back again. Oh, it disappeared. Oh, it's back again. Oh, will you stop pulling around? There we go. Eleven? Oh, man. He's a... This is just like the movies. This is a character in a different universe. An alien? Are you an alien from space? Oh my god. I'm the chosen one. <laughs> alien. What the heck? Oh, I pressed square instead of X. I was like, what hey just happened? There, little guy. Oh, did I scare you? It's okay. I'm your friend. Hmm. Can you understand me? You and I are friends. Yay! <laughs> that worked. Okay, stay calm. Look at the little guy. He looks so cool. Welcome to Earth. Welcome to Earth. Yes. I can't believe this is really happening. My dream is finally coming true. BJ. BJ. BJ 11. BJ? Is that your name? My name is Natsuno. In a Lassiter code matched. Huh? What's it? Interlocitor. Yeah. That's me. I don't mean to be rude, but is that a spacesuit you're wearing? Like, 
Is your brain inside of a jar or something? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Don't be scared. Oh, I think I get it. Are those men after you? Is that why you're hiding in here? Could be. It's okay. Oh. She's a, she's a smart cookie. Are those, is that... His name is BJ. His mission was to protect Earth from other evil aliens. Really? How do you know that? Secret agents rumored to deal in the extraordinary and silencing those who witness UFOs. They call them men in black. No one really knows much else. Secret eight and oh, Mong Bang. Yes, it all makes sense. Those black suits all over campus? It's just like that one movie. They must be here to capture this alien. The thing they were looking for. This explains it. And that means I must protect him. That's amazing, BJ. Where'd you learn how to speak my language? Go to gate. Gate? I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. But it's okay. I've seen the movie. <laughs> you need to call your home planet, right? And then a UFO is going to come and rescue you. Don't worry. I'm going to help you. I really hope BJ is not evil. I like BJ. Oh, that's wow. cool. This technology is crazy. Look at map. You want to go there? I know exactly where that is. It's a shrine near school. BJ's destination. Oh, wait. You can't just go walking out like that. The black suits would spot you in a second. Oh, do we need to dress him up? I can get him there, but I'll have to hide him in something. Or oh, hide him in something. We well, have yeah, plenty of uh, hampers here. PE bag? He's not gonna fit in a PE bag. My PE bag? Yeah, this will do the trick. I don't think those will do the trick. I can get him there, but. Oh, I should have considered it first. Sorry about the tight fit. Wow, you actually put him in the bag? Nuh-uh. You gotta keep your head down. I'll get you to where you need to go. Just hang tight, okay? <sighs> the location BJ pointed out on the map. It's a shrine nearby the school. A bag given out by the school. It can fit more than it looks. Yeah, apparently. It's got some TARDIS technology in there. Toki Saka Shrine. Okay, doesn't seem like we were followed. This is it, Toki Saka Shrine. This place has been here forever. A pretty good hiding place too, now that I think about it. I mean, who would have thought somewhere like this? was really a hub of extraterrestrial alien activity. <laughs> well, we don't know that yet. Hmm. All right. We're here, BJ. At the gate. All the dots. What is all this? Is he gonna time travel us? So bright. Uh oh. Are these holograms? 
access code approved. I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, we're time I'm traveling. In the freaking movies. Designating sector. Wow. This is awesome, DJ. Oh man, you're really gonna. And we're gone. So he may not be an alien, he's actually a robot from the future. And if DJ, this is our future, up. that does not look Don't good. Me behind. Jeez, this is getting pretty crazy even by dream standards. One second we're at the shrine, then we're surrounded by this weird light. Now we're in this place? What the heck happened to this city? It looks like there was a war. <gasps> There's more? The government has released a statement at 5.40 p.m. Japan time. Communications with major cities around the world have not yet been restored. It is likely that these cities have also come under attack by the same unknown enemy that has besieged Japan. Domestically, multiple locales are reporting serious damages. Currently, the unknown enemy has made landfall, swarming a large area across the bay. They are now thought to be headed in the direction of Kasumicho in Sakura Ward. That was news footage. Wait, no. That's near our school. Is this... Are we in my town? I need to know more. It's hard Whoa. to see here, but we have to understand. What can only be described as monsters have descended upon our town. It's quite difficult to comprehend. I see five, six, seven. No, there's more every time I look. What are they? Some say we are finally witnessing a takeover of aliens from space. Could this really be the end of humanity? Will our species not live to see past 2064? They're nearly upon us, to all of you watching. Good luck. So about 80 years in the future. 2064? We're in the future? 80 years to be exact. This can't be real. Can it? Hey, where are you going? Whoa. Monster's tripod, higher than many houses. Striding over the young pine trees and smashing them aside in its career. A walking engine of glittering metal. Striding now across the heather. The war of the worlds. I think I know what they are. Or the world's is colorized, so. Those things do have one extra leg, but. They're just like the tripods. Weapons used by aliens to invade Earth. And now they're destroying my home. Is this really happening? Was Earth really attacked by aliens? Do they want to destroy humanity? I love how we can see them walking in the background. Why? Why did we come here? Search. Memory cell. Yeah, I know, but what is that? You're looking for this? Sentinel. Sentinel number 17.
Oh, that's not good. Minami's prologue cleared to be continued. Woo. Next event. Beginning of the end, episode four, wave four. May 27, 452. How am I doing, Miracoon? Anything I'm screwing up here? Doing just fine, Natsuno-san. You're a natural. This was his last gift to me. I gotta do this right so I don't let him down. Oh, we're talking about that robot friend? Don't we have a bunch of bad guys everywhere already? Should we really be deployed all the way out here? Our sentinels were designed chiefly for long-range attacks. I was taught that my primary tactic should be long-distance annihilation. Never give them a chance to close in. So if they do get too close, that's bad news? Well, we've got electromagnetic battering rams for both arms in case of close quarters combat. But we can't let them surround us. I don't know if we could fight our way out of that. Okay, got it. Warning, Dymo signatures approaching. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. They're coming. Miracle, they're coming. What do we do? Should we shoot? Stay calm, Natsuno-san. Get a clear look at the opposing forces. The enemy may have more numbers than us, but we can hit them all in one fell swoop. Miracoon, I'm... I'm kinda shook up here. We'll be okay. We can use the electromagnetic rounds. Shake them up instead. Look, Miracoon! There's more. Coming at us in one straight line. That's a good thing, now. Hit them all at the same time. In the perfect position. Especially if you have like a gun that fires straight. Here's the packs of kaiju straight ahead with main battery heavy rail gun. Battle start. Stay calm. Remember your training. Fires a large round directly forward at high speed through electromagnetic induction. Where are they? Cost 150 EP. Wow, yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about. Straightforward line? Heck yeah. Line this up just right. Fire! Woo hoo hoo! Threat suppressed. That was awesome. That was cool. You got them all in one shot. That electromagnetic ground has the power of a salvo from 46 centimeter battleship mounted cannons. Nice. But a weapon that powerful comes with high energy costs. And high risks to match. If you don't use it carefully, you might end up out of power at the worst possible moment. Uh, Roger that. In other words, it costs a lot of EP. That was more, of course. Uh, victory condition: destroy all kaiju. Permanent destroyed. Gotta keep my spirits up. Gotta keep it together. Shoot! I don't want to do that. Dang it! I'm still learning controls, and I totally messed that one up. Um. Okay. Kinda need to wait. Not throwing away my shot. Where are they? Can't. Right there. Take that. Enemy down. That works. We got through it. For a first time pilot. Those were some impressive moves out there. Oh, thank God. Just stood here and did nothing. Oh. Of course, there's more coming. What? There's more? How many of these guys are there? Wow, that's a lot. Oh my God, that's a lot. Looks like they're deploying wide range attackers of their own. Let me check the Sentinel's data. Maybe we have a dossier in here somewhere. And there we go. A surface wrecker. Colloquially called a twin tail. Is that all we have? It's coming, Miracoon. Do we attack? Wait, I think we have new enemies inbound. Actually, isn't that... 
Sentinels number 13 and 15, are they friendly? Oh yeah. This terminal will close soon. We got defensive backup. What? Jurokun? You're in a Sentinel too? It is you, Nachan. We're here to help. No way. You too, Yuri? What's going on? Thank you, Jurokun. I couldn't have asked for better support. We have to defend the terminal until the systems activate. Nachan, let's do this together. Support units. Secondary Shimano model for you, Saka pilots. Comes with support units, which are armaments that can be positioned. Once positioned, support unit automatically takes action. Yes, those are the really cool things. Uh, select for you, Saka, with uh, arrow keys and enter the action menu. Am I in enemy range? I have to focus. So. There we go. Play a small gun, act fire, auto fires on Kaiju. And we're gonna place it. Uh, where? Here? Okay. Okay, now we need to. Pulse movement, it drops aerial Kaiju. Why take out these guys? Oh, I could take out so many if I just went like this. How's that? Gotcha. What now? I have to, what can I do? Okay, I need you to move. Um here. And it's empty missiles. So enemies like twin tails attack from distance using missiles. Those can be evaded by moving and it's to attack. Still with them in a way that best suits the situation. I won't back down. Okay, I need you to fire here. here we go. Did I get it? You didn't get it. Okay, fire rockets here. Okay, you really want to take out these uh, twin tails. Ready for this? Hit. Take that. That's all I want to take out twin tails. And what do I do? I need you I to move. Right? Move up here. Number 15, moving out. Not throwing away my shot. I need you to take out that other twin tail. Target confirmed. A hit. Suppressed. I have to focus. Okay. Uh, heavy knuckles. On board and beat this thing in. Damn, got you. Got it. Nice. They've got their gear. Mm, gotta do this. With an enemy threat range. Let's see. Uh, take out these twin tails. I'll beat you. How's that? I like this. It's cool. Uh, they're, they're targeting the uh. Leave it to me. Take that. Stop the missile. Okay. Okay. Where's the last target up there? Kind of cool, actually. I'm enjoying this. It just has been activated. Terminal's been closed. I can't see any more kaiju around. Is that it? Did we beat them? Looks like it. No. This is still just the beginning. If they can't use this terminal, they'll just move on to the next one. If that's true, the more targets they lose. The more desperate our enemies will get, and the harder they'll fight. Yeah. These battles are only going to get tougher. Serious? 
seriously? No more enemies, right? Good job, team. What do we got next? Yes. Uh, Megumi Yaku Shiji's story is now available. Huh. I really like this splash art here. You can actually turn this off in the options to not see this, but why would you turn that off? It only takes a second, and it's absolutely beautiful to watch. Heading home, Satsuki Pond oh, Park 2024. Lame. Tomi's here. This is usually a good shortcut, but it is so gross today. Muddy as heck. My shoes are soaked. Hmm. Come on. I'm Come on. covered in mud. No point going back now. I like how the game recognizes that I turned back. That's cool. What's up? You look bummed. It's nothing. Thinking about how no one talks to you again. Aww. Is that what's got you down? It's just because you're so quiet, Megumi. People take that as you thinking you're better than them. Or that you're cold and distant. Not sure which is worse. They just need to get to know the real Megumi. The one who's a hopeless romantic. And a cool, laid-back girl just like everyone else. Maybe then they'd have an easier time talking to you. Hey, you should try posting videos online like me. It could really help you come out of your shell. It's actually helped me a lot I'll come pass. out of my shell, to be honest. <laughs> Although I'm still socially awkward. It, it's weird because I put out videos on YouTube and I don't mind talking to people on YouTube and everything like that. But in real life, I'm still very socially awkward around people. It, it's one of those weird things just never understood. Tommy. You really are great at singing, Tommy. You watched my Inaba Rabbit video? Mm hmm. I never knew you were so talented. <laughs> well, you're in luck. I'm posting a new one when I get home. What is it? Did you see that? See what? There was a light. I saw it in the water. Probably just a car headlight. In the water? Oh! Whoa! What is... Oh, that is not a car! That's a sentinel. Fall out of the sky? Yeah, it sure did. Are you okay? Ah, oh, jeez. I'm completely soaked. And my umbrella got blown away. What a drag. And you're not gonna say anything about the giant robot in the lake? Holy crap. Oh yeah, 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 there we go. We could have totally died just now. What even is that thing? Could it be a piece of an airplane? No, that's not it. But what then? Oh, this is wild. I, I gotta document this. Oh no, where'd my phone go? You have to go find her phone? Now we have to look at this thing more. Oh, All it's right. moving still. And it's moving? Uh, this seems dangerous. What if it, like, blows up? We gotta report this to the police. Uh, right. Huh? Huh? Something's happening. Get out of there! Yeah, probably a good idea.
Karabi, isn't it? I'm still learning names. This guy just popped up out of nowhere. What the? You saw it too, right? Where did he come from? This guy just popped. He's a serious boy. Uh, um. Are you all right? <sighs> Where am I? When am I? Maybe no. a better question. When am I? Yeah. <laughs> when? Well, today is October. No. The year. What year is it right now? Oh, it's 2024. <sighs> 2024. I must have been forcefully shifted here. The front line's been broken. <sighs> It's over. It's all over. Serious boy. What do you mean it's um, over? Should I call an ambulance? Uh, who are you? Oh, um, I'm just from the school nearby. No. Then that means this place is next. I'm Juro Izumi, and I've come from the future. This timeline, they're coming. <sighs> Half a year later, Kira High School, schoolyard, 1985. So weird, it says half a year later, but it says 1985, even though it was 20. 24 2025 a minute ago so how do we go half a year later and yet it's 40 years earlier in the timeline oh the kitty's here hi kitty a cat oh it looks so fluffy oh come here fluffy <laughs> oh kitty come back little guy I had a black and white cat when I was a uh, a youngster. His name was Sam. Can't go in. Why can't I go in? I want to chase after the kitty. Are you all right? You look a little lost. The nurse again. I was just thinking, in 1985, the West Building doesn't even exist yet. So she knows we're a time traveler? Reminisce. And what, the drugs make us forget that we traveled in time? 2025. Sure. I needed to see you, just one last time. One last time? They're coming. And number 13 is the only one that can still fight. I have to go. N no you can't. I won't let you. Taking back that robot, trying to fight by yourself. It's not a good plan, Juro. You couldn't defeat them even with all your friends. It's true. I don't know if I'll be able to protect you all. You gotta try, right? But I can't do nothing. But you haven't even recovered yet. Megami, I really am grateful to you. So, this is goodbye? Uh, I hope that it's not, but... Megami, this is bad. Uh... Juro Izumi. They're here, just like you said they would be. And now monsters are flooding the port in droves. <sighs> right. Megami, tell me. I've told a woman named Morimura about you. When the time comes, you must listen to what she says. Yakushiji-san? <gasps> 
I need you to stay focused. Miss Morimura, how is Juro doing? You must forget about Juro, Izumi. The Juro you knew no longer exists. There was nothing else we could do. <gasps> From now on, you cannot go near him. But... It's for his own good. Hmm. No, wait! <gasps> Juro! Huh? This is the school you attend. It is? How about we head back to the nurse's office now? It's important to take your medicine, you know. Stop. You have to stay away. He's Juro Karabe now. Not Juro Izumi. I don't understand. He is not the same person. Giving him a new identity was the only way to save him. That can't be possible. It was the only way. Why? I'm sure he would agree. It had to be done. So for now, you need to stay away. At this point, he is still very unstable. Trust me. You're doing this for him. Why? A few months later, secure a high school. Oh. oh. That fluff. <laughs> that fluff. Sure, that kitty from before. I'm a cat, not a kitty. Wait, it's talking? What? what? All right, settle down. No need to make a scene. Your name is Artemis, is it? People are gonna start to think you're crazy. Think I'm crazy? That cat just... Talk to me? Talking cat has been added to the hook Talking cat. They must have not gotten enough sleep last night. Hey, I'm talking to you. Are you always this rude? Um, they must have not got hey. Yeah, that's the same. Um, All right, let's activate the talking cat bubble here. I wasn't imagining it. This cat is talking to me. That's stupid. Cats can't talk. Then what are you? You might want to try thinking before you speak. I'm being lectured to by Aren't a cat. You're supposed to be smart, Megumi Yakushiji. How do you know my name? I know everything about you. You're the one who called me, after all. I... did? Yes. And now I'm here to grant you your wish. Your wish to save Juro Izumi. <gasps> Looks like I hit a nerve. So yeah, I can do it. I can get his memories back. don't believe me oh of course you wouldn't it does sound too good to be true doesn't it well a cat is talking to me uh, there's well, a lot of questions go going through my head right now wishes for free in exchange i need you to do something for me of course after you agreed to a binding contract that is contract can i examine that first no, I can't move. Hmm. Assuming this isn't a dream. Or a hallucination. Or we're going insane. Or some kind of cruel joke. What exactly would I need to do for you? I come from another world. One that was destroyed. Destroyed by a relic of an ancient civilization. It is called the Dimos Code. Dimos. It spreads like a nasty curse and has begun to infect this world too. So those things came for your world. I must find all the codes and set things right again. 
That is my mission. And the no big deal, Jarvie, you get to do. If it's so easy, why don't you just do it yourself? You're not serious, are you? <laughs> In case you haven't noticed, I'm a cat. Which apparently doesn't talk you but really talks. You really want to leave the fate of the world to a cat? He has a point. I don't even have thumbs. If I screw up, you're dead too. <laughs> you're only damning yourself if you refuse. Did y'all ever see an old movie called The Cat from Outer Space? Oh, I love that movie as a kid. That is so good. I believe it's on Disney Plus. If you haven't seen it and want to see a, you know, a fun old school movie, uh, it, it's great. Cat from Outer Space. And what are we gonna do? Accept or decline? Obviously, we're gonna accept, right? I do want to know what happens if we hit decline, though. I mean, it's a prologue. I, I can't imagine there'd be a lot of branchy paths in the prologue, right? If I told anyone about this. They'd laugh and call me crazy. I'm sorry, but this all just seems so impossible. There's nothing impossible about it. <sighs> <laughs> all right, I'll give you some time to think about it. I suppose it's a good thing you're skeptical. Instead of some idiot who believes everything she hears. Make no mistake. You will accept my contract. It's just a matter of time. Oh, that, that guy kind of creeps me out just a bit. I wonder what happens if he said yes then. If it really is true. And there is a way to bring back Juro. Then I'd make a deal with the devil if I had to. Hold on, cleared. So I don't think there's um multiple paths to go there because it may have said something here where it says prologue and prologue end, right? Alright, my friends. Well, my name is Fellas Burr. This is your story is Gary Channel, and this is our blind let's play 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim for the PS5. Wanna thank for everything. Really do appreciate you all. And until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts, but before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.